but my week totally sucked and I have never looked forward to a Monday more in my life. But it's not about me, it's about Hollywood. So let's take a look at what happened in the first week of 2022. So while Kim Kardashian has moved on from soon to be ex-husband Kanye West, she has been partying it up with her new beau, Pete Davidson. I know. It's an odd match, but hey, if it makes you happy. Anyways, everyone thinks Kanye's being a big ol' emo, crying in the corner, buying a house, down the street from their old one so he can stalk her. If Kanye's super sad, he sure does have an odd way of showing it. He's been hanging out with not one, but two chicks in less than two weeks. Smoking hot singer and rapper Audrey Nix and the one everyone is talking about, actress Julia Fox. I mean, I don't know about you, but this doesn't really look like a dude who's super sad. Moving on to the one thing nobody wants to talk about, but we can't help but talk about it, COVID. As the Omicron variant charges through into 2022, the Grammys have had to postpone their January 31st show. They're saying it's for everyone's safety and the show will be moved to a later date. Jason Derulo was in Vegas and totally flipped out when someone called him Usher. He was going up an escalator, some dudes called him Usher with some other choice words, pissed him off extremely. He charged at them, started to beat them up, and security arrived shortly after breaking up the fight. As of now, the gentlemen are not pressing charges, but they have a year to do so. There you have it, the first week of 2022 in a nutshell. I'm your host, V. Hale. Until next time.